Hi, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we're going to use our knowledge of division to help us solve the question, does this fraction make an exact number of holes? We are on page 243 in our math journal, so let's just jump right in. Does this fraction make an exact number of holes? So the first thing we need to do is we need to look at each of these fractions, and I notice that each of these fractions for number one are improper. That means that the numerator is larger than the denominator. So that means I have more than what is required to make one whole. So if I were to divide something into eighths, that's my denominator down here at the bottom, that means I'm cutting it into eight parts. So let's just make a rectangle right here and cut it into the prescribed number of parts, which is eight. Okay, and when I cut something into eight parts, that gives me eight eighths. And here they are. So I would just count them off. I've got eight of them. But my numerator up here tells me that I have nine eighths. So that means I have more than what one whole can hold. So I would represent that as a separate little eighth sitting off to the side. Okay, so if I have 9 eighths, that is the equivalent of having one whole, that's the same as 8 eighths, and then 1 eighth over here. So 1 and 1 eighth. So to answer my question, do I have enough parts to represent an exact number of holes? The answer is no. Some of you with uh, keen ears can hear my dog barking in the background. Another way we can approach this problem is using division. Okay, So I'm going to take my numerator, that's 9, and I'm going to divide it by my denominator, that's 8. Okay, So the question is, how many groups of 8 can I get out of 9? Well, as we saw, we can get 1 8. One group of 8, I should say. Because 1 times 8 is 8, and when I subtract the difference... I have a leftover, a remainder. Now I can represent that remainder in one of two ways. I can either just write R1, or remainder 1, there, or I can represent it fractionally. Okay, Taking my leftover, my remainder, and make it my numerator, and pair it with my divisor, which is my denominator. Uh, the number of parts I divide uh, into groups. Okay, so 1 with a remainder of 1, another way of thinking about that is 1 and 1 eighth. Okay, let's look at number 2. Number 2 is 16 eighths, so same number of parts per whole, uh, just a different amount of parts. So I can approach this problem again by just using division. I'm going to take my numerator, which is 16, and I'm going to divide it by the number of parts per whole, which is 8. That's my denominator. Well, I know uh, through my multiplication facts that there are two groups of 8 in 16, because 2 times 8 is, of course, 16. And when I subtract the difference, I'm left with nothing. And because I'm left with nothing, that makes it exact. That's what that word exact means. I have no leftovers. So for number 1b, yes, I have an exact amount of whole numbers that I can uh, take or divide 16 eighths into. So if I were to take 16 eighths and divide it into holes, I would have two rectangles cut into eight parts apiece, 16 eighths. And that's how you do it. You basically have to divide the numerator, the top number, by the denominator. So to set up problem 1c, in order to solve, is there enough halves in 14? I would have to divide 14 by 2. Is there enough eighths in 22? I would have to divide 22 by 8, and so on. If you have any questions or concerns, please email or contact your teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again tomorrow, friends. Thank you.